which is good. Okay, so uh, once again, I'm just uh, gonna offer up some some clarity here with with the wordage because there's <laughs> this is a guy who uh, you, you can learn a great deal from when it comes to uh, cleansing the body and uh, general health and uh, awareness of uh, what maybe maybe what you didn't know previously about uh, certain systems in the body but uh, yeah this this guy gets to rambling and mambling on and uh, it's like whoa <laughs> what the fuck dude and I mean, if you can feel, you know, uh, where someone's coming from, then then you, you feel their heart. You, you feel uh, past the, any fucking words. So, like, the words don't even matter. You just you feel the intent and uh, the love, uh, the pure position that, that someone is coming from, the purpose of why they're even talking to begin with. So yeah, this video is about, uh, <coughs> <laughs> what is it about, truly, because uh, this guy's video is like, you, you never know, you never fucking know <laughs> where he's going to go with it, um, unless he's like giving a seminar or something, but, uh. Essentially overstimulation and then also disconnect and uh, I will shed some light upon some clarity upon basically what he's trying to get at but you know a lot of times people in general they get so caught up in, in their fucking uh, go 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 this thought to the next thought to the next word blah 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 that they lose touch upon the original intent. Or they they get so caught up in the wordage and the flow of uh, the spells and the spellings and the swords that they constantly bob and weave, ebb and flow in and out of the intent. So they will go off on tangents and then back to the original point, and then on off, on off, on off. And of course, we all do this to some extent. And I mean, this is this is the essence of uh, the disconnect and that uh, the, the disease and uh, certain certain terminologies like uh, bipolar or ADHD. Which are things that every every single person has every single thing inside of them. It's just to what extent do you do you engage in certain uh, aspects and avenues? So yeah, we'll get into this and then. Uh, I do I do have a card prepared <laughs> before that I wanted to share this Isn't that beautiful? Botanical ill. This is uh, this is one of the uh, more interesting ills I, I have uh, ever had. It could uh, very easily be called a floral ale because that's kind of like what comes to mind and to taste. 
absolutely it does not taste uh, like like it has very much alcohol in it at all. But but it has like a uh, what? <laughs> what is it? I think it's uh, I think it's seven. Let me let me check. Let me double check here. That would be great if it's seven. Wouldn't you know it? Seven on the dot. Seven percent. But yeah, it doesn't taste like it at all. Yeah, it's very intriguing. Okay, so let's get into this here. And then also, like, this is going to kind of segue into a little bit about, uh, Giving thanks and, uh, you know, how, how what we are approaching the day of uh, indulgence and over-feasting. Just, you're overstimulated with maybe heavy metals, RF frequencies, social engineering. You're overstimulated. Well, maybe in other ways that maybe you're overstimulating yourself to work, to play around with, well, sexuality, overstimulating yourself <laughs> with chemicals, overstimulating yourself with well, the friendly pharmaceuticals. Overstimulating yeah, yourself yeah, with yeah. alcohol, cigarettes, anything. You know, uh, <laughs> this guy, dude. Just how he talks, like the some of the subtle things that that he does and says, the mannerisms and like the the laughs, the chuckles. Uh, <laughs> oh, I love this dude. But uh you know, he he's uh caught in in a, in a wave here of like, you know, uh being of talking about overstimulation, but he's not he's not like really uh diving into uh essentially like what he's getting at is and and, and with the things he was talking about, it it's not even stimulation anymore. It's it's a numbing down. So uh with with pharmaceuticals, with the alcohol, with with a lot of things. Uh, it, it's a numbing down. Uh it's dulling the senses. So uh, um and this is a a big part of like, you know, this quote unquote word of bipolar, it's flipping back and forth. But like we're 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 in a world where we're, we're we have access to all these energy drinks and all these uh, things that stimulate us. All the coffee and caffeine to to keep us going throughout the day. But then, you know, and then we have the downers and the suppressants and the uh, mood. Uh, regulators so it's just uh, going back and forth and back and forth and uh, very few people engage homeostasis anymore balance so it's not just uh, an issue of over overstimulation. It's that we are we are indoctrinated into engaging in a certain way. And yes, one aspect of that is essentially like this. This is what it is here. We we are indoctrinated into going bloop or bloop, and not just being the center point, the monad the focal point being focused
So you see all these people out here with with the quote unquote overstimulation or, or just over engagement and blah, 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 they just they just go crazy. Like it's 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 hard to really communicate with people that um just just wanna go a million miles a second and um it, it's very much likened to a pebble on on the surface of a pond and just skipping and not ever settling and diving deeper but then also we we have the other side of the spectrum where uh people are are so numbed up and dumbed down to where it, it's it's a disconnect either way it's a disconnect Overstimulation or being numbed, it, it, it's a disconnect from the balance in the center point, in the monad that you are. And so you can have full spectrum awareness, the, the circle, the 360 view of all aspects. even yield cannabis. So what does overstimulating do? We're overstimulated, and what it does is it disconnects us from who we are. Because when you're overstimulated, what happens is your system's imbalanced. You could be overstimulated in testosterone, overstimulated from, well, eating too many phytoestrogenic plants. So maybe you now are overstimulated in estrogen. And of course, this di disconnect is a whole different, you can call, layer disconnection of, well, once you're full of heavy metals, once you're full of different types of disconnects, like paging, messaging, talking on the phone, paging. What? watching television, <laughs> your computer. This guy. Okay, this is a D. Well, mm -hmm. disconnecting of your system. So anyways, disconnecting is something that the system really <laughs> wants us to be. Disconnected from reality. Okay, and what is that? What is real? Are you connected with reality? Remember oh gosh. But I'm driving sideways right now. Because I'm in Hawaii, and I'm supposed to be right around the side of the ball. Does that make sense to your reality? Exactly. It's raining right now. Think My about tires it. are gripping really good to the ground here. Okay, remember, what is real? What Think is reality? So when we're overstimulated, what happens is we become confused. And once we're Ooh. confused, then, well, it's really easy to control the mind convince people of of the con that that is being perpetuated in, in all aspects of, of our uh, of this illusory system to convince people to go outside of uh, the inner standing to find the answers and that's only going to get you addicted. And eventually, through that addiction, you're going to seek the numbing. And it's just one polarity bouncing back from one polarity to the, to the next. Because in the stillness, in the center, you have to face everything. And you will face it with a clear eye, with a singular eye. And that's not, that's something that most people cannot do because they uh, have not been encouraged to do so. They have been traumatized. And beat down and made to feel like they are worthless. On some level, but 
for, for a lot of us, it's on a very deep level. Controlling the mind is very simple when you confuse it. It doesn't know what to do. It does need a choice. Okay, you do need a choice. Democrat, Republican, you do need a choice. Love or hate, gay or straight, you do need a choice. Okay, to have purpose or just, well, no purpose. And, and that was beautiful there i like know no purpose like it, it, it's a knowingness it's a, it's a gnosis okay like you just you feel it and you know it you don't need to contemplate it necessarily all that much you just feel it the contemplation comes later um with the direct engagement and communion with this gnosis then we have what is called a divine contemplation and we are able to uh think at, in a manner that, that is uh, from this center point and from this homeostasis. So we're able to see a, a full spectrum awareness, at, at least from what we can where, with where we are at in the moment. So yes, it is a choice, but, uh, you know, it's <laughs> the options that he gave right there for, for choices is not, uh, that's, that's, you don't, you don't, you don't want to be choosing sides. You, you want to choose the, the middle path to where you, you see that the sides that have been given to you are bullshit. The system setup is bullshit. The ideologies that you have been led to believe in are bullshit. So yeah, <laughs> I was going to make this like uh, a fucking Thanksgiving thing, but I mean, obviously. So yeah, giving thanks to clarity. Let's, let's, let's go into that. Because, I mean, what, what like, all, all these families and people coming together, like, is there really much thanks being given? Truly? Like, deeply? Or is it all surface level bullshit? So uh, let's give thanks to uh, the the truth and and the people um, that are really feeling deeply, that have really engaged deeply into the inner realms and the deeper layers of reality, of what what words mean past the scripts and the conscripts and the imagery into the direct feeling. I give thanks to people who feel on this level because if it weren't for you, I would not be. I am here for you. I I have no other purpose than to exist because I know that there are beings that feel deeply. Otherwise, I would have bounced out at the fucking get-go. <laughs> and I, I really fucking wanted to, for sure, at a young age. So yeah, we're, we're once again here. We're going from dark to light to dark to light, and finding the uh, 
the center point, right? So anyways, this idea of overstimulating ourselves with eating too many, well, forget about chemicals, xenoestrogens, forget about oxalates, how about overstimulating yourself with just plants in general? Remember, plants are medicine. Okay? They are chiefly for detoxification and for cleansing. That's what they're for. They do have pharmaceutical qualities. They do have medicinal qualities. And they do have some minimal nutritional qualities. Not because That is by far the most ignorant thing I've ever seen this guy say. And I, I'm not, like, I like this dude, but like, um, what he just said there, I uh, kind of makes me think that like he's eating animals again, um, which to each their own, if you feel the need to fucking do whatever you need to do, whatever, but if you're going to like go out and preach about certain, you know, a certain something and then go just flip flop to another another thing but um what he said there was was complete um hogwash bullshit because uh plants have the uh energetic coatings for a, a vast myriad of, of healing different different diseases and to uh, enliven certain aspects of the body certain aspects of, of the energetic system and yes it can be hard to um, integrate And absorb certain material but that's why we learn and become uh, chefs become cooks become alchemists we, we we realize how to utilize certain things what elements are needed what what kind of temperatures are needed to engage certain materials to have a better Availability, bioavailability. So yes, like you can overstimulate, you can, like too much of anything like is is not going to be good anymore. So too much uh, medicine is not going to be, become medicine in, anymore. It's not. It's not. The body adapts and adjusts, so you can't keep putting the same thing in the body. And expect like um, something good to happen, and yes, you know, mind over matter for sure. But that that reaches a tipping point to where like the the body can only do so much with with what it is given. Think about fucking uh, like huge, large. Uh, Her herbivores how do they maintain that size and eat just plant material okay yes like they're able to absorb more of the plant material but the human form um, is, is, is a perfect construct so if people can't absorb the things they are eating there's many reasons for this for one people don't chew their food properly so you're not breaking down uh, the material and the plant wall cells anyways and getting the saliva interacting with it so chew your fucking food people first and foremost or you can juice and then, or, or you can go on a liquid diet or you can go on a fast a liquid fast or you can go on a water fast, or you can go on an Oran fast, and really open up your fucking portholes, 
your portals. So yeah, I'll, I'll end up with that and this guy. Uh, he said, yeah, I'll, I'll leave a link to this video. He's got some good stuff in here, but um, the beginning part here is like, dude. <laughs> and oftentimes, you know, with this guy, but also with a lot of us, you know, uh, <laughs> the, the initiatory phase, like we, we got to get the gears are working and get the things are flowing <laughs> very much uh like like with this dude he's got to get the hamster a rolling uh a running the wheel and then and then he gets to go on and then he starts spitting out some some good shit so uh no judgment at all it's just it is what it is and you know if someone says stupid shit then uh recognize it for what it is trust in that people are going to behave in a certain manner. Trust in that people are going to behave how they are positioned to behave, how they have behaved over and over again. The trust in the cycles, trust in the patternings, trust in the humanness, but Trust in your own ability to perceive what is happening. Okay? So yes, trust, but trust in the correct thing. Trust in the manner that deserves the trust. Okay? So yeah, before I read this card here, I'm going to say... Uh, <laughs> this went off in a totally different direction. Than what I thought, but uh, if you made it this far, I will go ahead and say that uh, with with your overindulgence uh, day, um, try to utilize some ferments. It's going to help break down um, all all the overconsumption. So, uh, in the form of kombucha, uh, fermented tea, you can ferment literally anything and everything, any kind of food, anything. So I'm probably going to make a concoction of, uh, you know, certain kind of fruits, apples, uh, with, with walnuts, with uh, sunflower seeds, maybe some apricots, and then a whole bunch of different spices and herbs. And whenever you ferment something, it kind of like um, breaks, that process breaks down the, the cell walls and it breaks down the uh, the product into a more plasma like state and uh, you can use the word bioavailable but really it's just getting things ready for your body to super absorb and super heal to you know, you're introducing things to your body to where whatever your body needs in the moment, that's going to be very, very much available. So if you need probiotics, that's going to be there. If you go, if you if you need um, enzymes, that's there. If you need things to help you digest uh, the food and, and the shit that's collected inside of you, that's going to be there. So engage ferments in your day and in all of your days. Okay, so here we go with the card.
and the froggy. <laughs> Come on, light. Work. Work. <laughs> Keywords. Good fortune. Treating others with kindness. Compassion. Look for unexpected fortune. Unexpected good fortune when the frog card appears. Frogs are a symbol of the force of water. That's, that's beautifully synchronistic as well. A symbol of fertility in cultures everywhere. The ancient Egyptians depicted Hekit, the goddess of childbirth, with the head of a frog. Hindu folklore maintains that frogs bring rain when they croak, and that pouring water over a frog can break a drought. In Europe, the best known frog story is a fairy tale, when a young princess lost her golden ball in a pond. A frog offered to retrieve the golden ball if she would share her dinner with him. Let him sleep on her pillow and wake him with a kiss. Eager to have her toy back, the princess agreed. Once the ball was back in her hand, she ran off home. That night, the frog appeared at the castle, demanding she honor her word. She reluctantly complied. In the morning, she woke him with a kiss, which was the magical solution to a magical problem. The frog was enchanted, was an enchanted prince who needed the love of a princess to transform back into a man. It's a beautiful story and uh, do not get caught up in the uh, the outer manifestations and the outer reflections of what's happening within. So with this story, uh, it, it's about true love, a true love's kiss that and this doesn't have to be uh, manifest in, you know, a physical kiss. It can be the kiss of an engagement. Engagement with the purity of nature. The engagement of purity and the innocence of what life is really, you know, about. What the clarity within this purity. That kiss and that connection. The kiss is the connection. Okay? The kiss is the key. And that connection key will unlock the door to everything. And whenever you unlock the door to your heart, the speed in which the clarity happens, the, the purity opens up to you. And 
if you can engage in the stillness within this uh, kiss, then you can truly engage in the deepest, deepest level of what it means to be a human. And you dissolve time and you begin to emit this awareness. And within this dissolving, this collapsing, you become the center point. And you feel back into the essence, back into the moment, back into the origin the purpose, you feel it, and, and you don't need to attach words to it, you just, you enter into the stillness, it's like a, uh, the eye of the storm, within all this, this kinetic energy all around you, that that can just rip you apart in any moment, you become the stillness in the center point, the eye of the hurricane. You open your eye up. The two becomes one, it triunes. Within the trinity, you will find the clarity and purity So give thanks that you were able to experience and that you were here and that you have the opportunity to transform.